Hey guys, this is Ginny and this is Friday's Fitness Corner where it's Studios Fitness and Dance in Wellesley. And this week, just had a bunch of thought progressions while teaching classes and working with clients. And I wanted to kind of take it back to a throwback exercise that it's like a Jane Fonda exercise, but we're all still doing it. And I wanted to just talk about a few thinking points with this and maybe make some corrections to bring it more into the realm of today because, you know, fitness theories have changed so much over the years, we now understand things that we didn't used to understand before. And so let's just sort of tweak this sucker and make it just uh, perfect. So this is the position I'm talking about, forearms and knees. So the first thing is elbow creases under the shoulder, right? Cause you don't want your clients or your people there. You don't want to be there. And then you don't want to be here either. And then for the lower part of the body, I want the knees to be beneath my hips. So for this, this is the exercise I'm talking about. It's when the bottom of the foot comes up and we do these sort of rear leg lifts and it's all great glute um, and, and hammy work and it's wonderful. But what happens, and I don't know if you can see, I'm gonna come up a little bit, but what happens is when we start doing this, it's like we look great and I know I'd be down, but I just want you to see. So we'd be here, we'd be here, and then, oh, as we go through the set, let me just, oh, sink into this hip, right? So now I don't have a straight line of support under my hips anymore, and I'm really hanging in that joint and causing issues with pulling here. My alignment is completely screwed up. Screwed up. My back is gonna be like, no. So I like to tell my class, okay, ladies, you know, I really want you to try to focus on keeping that leg straight by keeping an eye on it occasionally, making sure you're really pressing into the leg. Cool, all right, well, that's something, and that helped. But then I had this thought, we're here, I'm gonna sort of angle myself to you guys a little bit, we're here, okay? So if I'm starting on the same side, right, and I'm hoping that you can see this line a little bit here, so if we're here, now, I'm thinking, what do I have to do with the rest of my body to keep this straight? And I'm finding that I'm really having to push into this forearm, right? This opposite forearm. So if I'm really pushing into this forearm in order to keep this leg straight while this leg is here, oh my gosh, what's going on with this hand? I don't really need it. And in fact, when I'm on it and I put the weight on both, that's when my hip tends to go and I get lazy. So that was sort of like a cool uh -huh moment. So if you are able to keep everything stable and you got that concept, right? And you got your alignment for the rest, you could put your hand out to the side, palm down so you have a little instability. You could progress that to fingertips. You could progress it to just lift it to the side, which is pretty cool. So the other thing that I wanted to talk about is just making sure that that foot goes back and that the back itself isn't where the motion is happening. I'm gonna turn this again like this so you can see what my do's and don'ts are gonna be. So by keeping this motion, right, and, and I'm just gonna keep the arms down um, for this, but, or maybe I'll, maybe I will lift it up, right? So to keep this motion, right, I want it out of the back. This is a hip glute exercise. So all the motion should be occurring here, right? Not with the back arching and bending in order to get the job done. That's compensating and it's putting the motion into the lumbar portion of the spine, which we know is a no-no, right? That's not where we want to move from. It can create problems um, with alignments and with low back muscles and spasms and all that stuff. So let's check out the other side for a sec and switch it around. So now I'm on this. I got my elbow crease under my shoulder. So right away, I'm not too far out or in too close here, and I'm not too far and too close there, right? And then this leg is straight because I'm pushing into this forearm, so I'm not hanging in that hip. And my back is staying nice and even, right? And this is pretty easy to, to get as a concept. There is a motion that we do sometimes with this exercise, and it's where we cross over the other leg, which really can challenge the glutes. Awesome movement, makes the whole thing more challenging. We love that. But it's a textbook, people put it right into this. 
So if my, I'm doing the other side now, I'm doing this side. So if this leg lifts, I'm talking about crossing it over this leg and then lifting it back up. So what I see a lot, and if you can focus on my back, I see a lot of this. And I don't know if that registers very well, but my back is like, and it makes that noise too. I can hear it in my head. I hear a lot of things in my head sometimes. I'm okay though. So here, I want to make sure, even though I'm crossing, this is a challenging move, especially to keep this stable, it's coming from the hip. So basically, it's a great exercise, it's timeless, but let's tweak what needs to be tweaked and do it correctly and get the most bang for our buck, keeping our alignments in check and all the correct muscles working. So this is the homework. I want you to come here, pick a side. If you can, bring the arm out, 10 like this, 10 like this. If you want, pulse. That's fine too. Again, keep it out of the low back. Realign, switch sides. This leg goes up if you're so inclined here, but don't let the hip drop, right? So here, we got this set here. We're crossing, keep that back from shifting and twisting. And if you want, pulse, all right? Eight or 10 each position, both sides, two to three sets. You do that, you're gonna have some great booty love and you're gonna really help that, uh, that posture, uh, posterior chain, which is really super important for protecting the low back and the knees and all of that. So anyway, that's my challenge, that's my discussion. I wanted to sort of pick your brains and have you all think about things in a little bit of a different way. If you have any questions, let me know. If you like it, please like and share, that would be awesome. And come back again next week, I have no idea. I don't know, but this was Friday's Fitness Corner and we're at Studios Fitness and Dance and I'm Jean and I'll see you next week.